Hey guys, Jim Collects here. Thanks for stopping by the YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at the pass and we're going to unbox Thanos from Avengers Infinity War. Can't wait to get stuck into this. This is my favourite version of Thanos. This is the Thanos who wins and it's also my favourite Marvel film. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Alright guys, so first of all, here's, here's box art. Nice big print of Thanos on the front there. We can see down the bottom right as well, it says Avengers Infinity War. And if we flip him round to the back, we can see all the whodunits and Thanos up here, Infinity Gauntlet down here, and of course all the various you know legal bits and pieces here. Flipping it back round, we lift this up. And that reveals a nice, plastic window where you can see Thanos lit up just there and all the different accessories that he comes with. This is a second hand figure so the box has a little bit of damage so I'm going to try to be as careful as I can as I pull this out. So there we go so this is him now out of the box so you can see Thanos in there he has two head sculpts as well as an infinity gauntlet up the top. Let's see if I can get this off without everything falling out. And there we go. Okay, so first of all, he does come with a backdrop, which is not something that I'll probably ever use. Um, yeah, I probably definitely won't use that. Also does come with a display stand. So let's take Thanos himself out first. Now the first thing I notice is he's a big, hefty guy. He's quite large. We can see his head sculpt's quite nice. He's in his normal outfit. So the blue outfit, I quite like this, it's not as flashy as the armour, but I do like that, I mean this just shows the confidence he has in this film when he just goes in and wrecks every single person. Got a good range of motion, his arms won't go much past there. A single joint bend in the elbows as well. Um, he doesn't do a lot in the film. I believe double joint in the knee, but again you're not really going to want to pose him much. You're going to essentially want him in a po like power pose. Nice ratchets in the joints as well. So the joints are nice and sturdy. All right. So that is Thanos himself. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at his angry head sculpt. There we go. There is an angry looking dude there. So angry head sculpt. You can see his scowl. This, I prefer the confident kind of look of it. The one thing I do want to say is obviously the battle damage Thanos. I love the armour um, on that. And I also love the kind of, I don't know, sad head sculpts that he comes with. Um, really well done. Um, anyway, Hot Toys has excelled at this. They've got his strange chin down nicely. His lightness is pretty much there as well. Uh, they've done fantastic on capturing lightness of a blue alien. Moving on, we do have a couple more hands. There we go. A couple hands here. Um, one kind of reaching or just kind of casual hand, not much to say here, pretty normal. And then another fisted hand here. Let's come with this base as well. I quite like this, nice, the Infinity Gauntlet there, Avengers Infinity War right here as well. The only thing is it takes up a lot of realty. It's huge, absolutely huge. If you want to as well, you can swap it out and have this kind of more diorama piece. This is quite cheap and flimsy, but you know, it's it's an extra piece, I suppose, if you want to use it. All right, finally, whoa, here we go. I really like that Hot Toys decided to include this piece. I think it's really nice. It's um, obviously it's got a, a light up function. There you go. So it'll have a light up function as you can see here to make the Infinity Gauntlets light up. Obviously, we know how Hot Toys batteries work. Um, this being now an older figure, uh, it's not the best, but this is a good way to hold him in this kind of a pose without worrying about ruining the kind of rubbery skin that he has on his arm. So nice way to pose that. Right, so that's pretty much everything he comes with. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get him up in a few poses and do a bit of a showcase. See you in a sec. All right, so here we have him posed up in a pretty 
basic pose, I suppose. This one's quite achievable. Um, this is probably similar to what I will actually just have him displayed as. So I'm just using the base there as something for him to like step up on just to provide a bit of um, dynamic feel, I suppose, to the figure. Uh, he looks nice, he looks good. He definitely has an impos imposing like presence on the shelf. He's a nice one to add to the collection. What I need to do now is kind of add more figures to the collection. At the moment, I only have the um, Mark 85 Iron Man and the Mark 1 Iron Man. I used to have more, but I do definitely need to get a cap and probably a four just to get the uh, the Holy Trinity, as it were, into the collection. Perhaps Spider-Man, um, maybe Black Widow, possibly Doctor Strange, we'll see. We'll see if I want to go for the whole route, but I might just stick to those three. You know, just, I like to collect a lot of different things. Um, all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try a different pose. And here we have him in a bit more of an aggressive pose. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I played around with him a little bit. Um, there's not much you can really realistically do with this figure. I quite like this pose because it looks like he's about, it looks like at the end of the film, he's just come to earth. You know, he's he's got vision in his sights and he's he wants to get to him to get the final stone. The only issue, if you look at his back arm, um, you get bunching up in the skin there, which I don't really like. Um, other than that though, he's okay. Um, in a walking kind of pose like this, I do need to use the stand for him, otherwise he does fall over. He hasn't got much range of motion in the joints, which is a bit of a problem. But other than that, I mean, again, I feel like this is almost a power pose figure, you know, like he's not gonna be, he's not your Spider-Man, where he's gonna be doing lots of different cool poses and such. Um, he is kind of, he is what he is, he's meant to look big, and menacing and imposing and he definitely achieves that uh, either way i'm definitely happy to have him back in my collection stay tuned because i do have the battle damage fanos on the way and i'll definitely be doing a review of him as well so thank you very much guys hope to see you again in the next video see you soon